Okay, I just wanted to quickly go over how we use this E to the X button. This right here, if you see that there, let's zoom in a bit. That guy right there, that's E to the X, that's Napier's constant. Let's take it back a bit. We can use that to determine the voltage, sorry, the current at different points in the sign or the uh, waveform. And we talked about this in class. You know what I mean? If we got our time and our current and it starts here and it goes up, it looks like that, we're able to determine what the volt or sorry the current is at each one of these points up to five tau. Let's walk through how to do this using that calculator method. First off, we need our ISS. 200 volts divided by 10 ohms gives me 20 amps. Then I know that I've got that formula. 1 minus e to the negative x times steady state current gives me the current at different taus. Let's walk through this. Current, oops, sorry. The current at the first tau. 1 minus second function e to the negative 1 equals and times that by 20 amps and I get 12.6 amps. Quickly done. Let's do the second tau. Clear that out. 1 minus second function e to the negative 2 equals times 20 amps gives me 17.3 amps. Let's keep it going. 1 minus second function e to the negative 3 equals Multiply that by the steady state current. Gives you 19 amps at that point. Clear that out. 1 minus second function e to the negative 4 equals, multiply that by 20, and I end up with 19.6 amps. And let's take it all the way home. 1 minus second function e to the negative 5 equals times 20 gives me 19.9 amps and for all intents and purposes we'll call that 100%, 20 amps we could call that. So there you have it, it's a very quick and easy method to determine what the voltage is instead of having to take that 63.2% of its previous value method which is long, cumbersome and sometimes confusing. You can use the calculator here and get it every single time. Alright, we'll see you on the next video.